Four astronauts recently got the assignment of a lifetime. They're going to the moon. NASA officially announced its crew for the Artemis II mission, which will be a lap around the moon in 2024 to prepare for a moon landing in 2025. Yeah, this announcement has a lot of us thinking about space travel now. So this morning, we're exploring the vacuum of space <laughs> and one way that spacesuits actually provide protection. This is going to be fun. Kaylee so cool. Smith with the Pacific Science Center joining us live here. Kaylee, um, I'm glad you recognize the child in me. She's already given me <laughs> a little toy. Um, but explain what you're about to show us here. Of course. Yeah, we're all about hands-on. I so love that. I brought something that we use as part of our science Science on Wheels program. Mm -hmm. We bring this to schools all over the state of Washington to help kids get curious. So I was hoping we could all get curious together this oh, morning. Oh, I think it's Let's great. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am nothing if not curious. Uh, <laughs> how do spacesuits protect astronauts from the vacuum of space? What is what is the vacuum of space? Great question. So the vacuum of space is not for cleaning. It's actually a scientific vacuum. Uh, so <laughs> what that means is a vacuum in science is a space where there is very little or no matter. So okay. very few molecules, not much air, not much gas. So space is essentially large stretches of nothingness mm -hmm. punctuated by planets, stars, and other celestial bodies. All right. So, I, I, so, so if you're talking about this space vacuum, yes. I mean, obviously we need these massive technologically advanced spacesuits. What happens if, a, if a, an astronaut doesn't have a spacesuit? Great question. Uh, so first, what do you say we start off with our balloon to let's find go. out? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Excellent. Okay. We'll send our balloon first to better understand exactly what happens in a vacuum. Okay. So this is my bell jar here with my vacuum pump. And once I turn this on, it's going to suck all the air out. And watch what happens. Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> and that's me in space? <laughs> Not exactly. Yeah. This is the extended version with the balloon. Uh -huh. uh, so what's happening is as all of the molecules are being pulled out, there's no air pressure left pushing back on that balloon. Mm -hmm. So the molecules inside the balloon are moving faster and faster and expanding more and more. I thought it would actually deflate it, but it's the opposite effect. Those are really good yeah. guess, uh -huh. but it's the opposite effect. We're actually surrounded by 14.7 pounds of air pressure pushing on us all the time. So would my head just expand and explode if I was out there? <laughs> well, I don't know. This is Great wild. question, yeah. but that is why I brought the marshmallow. The marshmallow. What does this teach us about spacesuits? Oh my goodness. So spacesuits need oh. to be really <laughs> rigid. Uh, they need to make sure that they're a really good, strong seal mm -hmm. so that they maintain pressure inside <laughs> so that we function properly. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike our balloon here. I was going right. to say, that's a really live look at me up. trying to yeah. wake up in the morning. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's do the marshmallow. Yeah, we've got a marshmallow. You can put yours there. Okay. Uh, so marshmallows, they've got some stuff to them, just like we have tissues and muscles and organs. We're not full of hot air like a balloon. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> no, but yeah, right, right, stick right. with me here. <laughs> so we've got our marshmallow here that is not in its spacesuit mm -hmm. and then my marshmallow that is in the uh, balloon and marshmallow equivalent of a spacesuit okay a hard plastic water bottle okay so let's see what happens now you can see it's expanding Whoa. more oh and more oh my goodness that is wild isn't that incredible? But the balloon in the spacesuit is protected. Exactly. The balloon in the spacesuit <laughs> is protected. <laughs> Look at it getting so big. <laughs> I love this so much. So oh, my gosh. Our marshmallow doesn't expand exponentially like the balloon does because uh -huh. of all the tissue, but still loses air. And then when we <laughs> return to Earth's air pressure, all good. Oh, uh, shrinking. Not exactly. Not exactly. Not exactly. Not exactly. All good. Shrinking. <laughs> So you can imagine what yeah, might happen. A sad little marshmallow. Oh this slayed me. Oh, that is a vibe right marshmallow. There. <laughs> Definitely fit me for the spacesuit. 100%. Exactly. You know, science and technology, we have it for a reason. Kaylee, this is fantastic. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, well, it, it's so heavy now because it's all compact. Wait, exactly. It. It's more dense now. There's no more oh, air in it. Still? Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. Kaylee, wow. thank you. This is really this is fun. Lovely. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. And, you know, if you want to keep being curious and discovering more, we've got a planetarium at 
backpack side, we also have a space exhibit. You can find out what sorts of plants are best fit for astronauts to grow in space. Oh, cool. Sounds like a great time it's for the fun, whole family. Yeah. Kaylee Smith from PacSci, thank yes. you so much. My pleasure, thank you great for having us. Great to have us. you here. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, we're gonna